Hi there, it's Paige here from Wealth Simple, and I'm going to share a quick tutorial with you on how to access your Wealth Simple profile once your advisor has sent you an invitation. So let's get started. Once your advisor has sent you an invitation, you'll receive an email that looks similar to this. It will say your advisor's name, the firm they're with, and that they've set up an account for you. And now you're required to log in and take things from where they left off. If you have any questions about this, your advisor's contact details are at the bottom of the email. I'm going to go ahead and select set up your password. I'll now be redirected to a page where I have to create my own secure password to use going forward for when I log into my Wealthsimple account. I've typed in the password. I'll go ahead and select update. Perfect. It's now let me know that my password has been set. Now, the next place that we want to go is to the Wealth Simple website. This is where you'll log into your account on a go forward basis, but also where you'll log in right now in order to get your profile set up. So if I visit www.wealthsimple.com and select sign in in the top right hand corner here. I'm then going to use the email address that was used for the initial invitation. So the email that your advisor sent the invitation to. And then you're also going to use your newly created password here as your login credentials. Keep in mind, these will also be the login credentials you use going forward. I'm going to now go ahead and select sign in. Perfect, now this is my Wealth Simple homepage. As you can see, my advisor's details are on the right hand side here. It's also letting me know that there is some action required on my part. I'm required to start my plan. Now, this is required in order for us, Wealthsimple, the portfolio manager, to get an understanding of how to invest your funds. I'm going to go through the questionnaire here, and what it will do is it will ask me questions such as, what is my age, what is my annual income, and what is my past investment ex experience? So let me go ahead and select start your plan. Perfect. First question, what's your age? You can either type your age in here or you can use this sliding scale. Just like that. Next, why are you investing? You can either choose one of these options or you can choose multiple if they're applicable. If the option isn't listed, you can select other and you'll then be prompted to input the other reason. I'm going to go ahead and say, I'm investing for retirement. When do you plan to retire? Of course, give us your best guess. This is a sliding scale, just like the other screen. I'm gonna leave it at 65. Do you have any previous experience investing in stocks, bonds, mutual funds, or other securities? I'm gonna go ahead and say six to 10 years. Which type of investments have you purchased in the past? Now, this is for us to get an understanding of your past investment experience. So if you've purchased any of these securities in the past, select all of them, or if you've only purchased a select few of them, go ahead and select those two, for example. If you decided to invest on your own and build a diversified portfolio, how do you think you would do it? So now this is um, the opportunity to answer a question on how you would build a diversified portfolio. Of course, answer this as honestly as possible. And I'm going to go ahead and say that I would invest in many different stocks and bonds. Perfect. What do you think your income will be this year? Again, you can type it in. Where will your income come from? So now you have the ability to select salary, self-employed, hourly commission. If you have a guaranteed pension, you can also select that you're retired and have a pension, but it's not guaranteed, or maybe your income comes from a family member. I'm going to go ahead and select salary. How much are you comfortable saving per month? A general rule is 20% of your monthly income. I'm gonna just go ahead and leave it at 700. Of course, this 700 does not mean that I will be contributing 700 to my wealth symbol account on a go forward basis. This is more so to get a holistic view of your overall financial well being. Do you currently have any savings or investments? So, this is just any investments that you have in a bank account, other investment accounts, and I'm going to leave it at 50,000. 
what is the value of property and other assets you own? So this is, let's think of, um, for example, if you own a home, a condo, I'm going to go ahead and say I own a home that's worth $450,000. What about your debts? So any mortgages, credit cards, I'm going to go ahead and say I have $150,000 in debt. So if you were to invest $175,000, which scenario would you be happiest with? So this is for us to get an understanding of your ability and willingness to um, take losses essentially in your portfolio. So whatever you are most comfortable with, I'm gonna go ahead and just select, I can take some losses to earn more long-term. Perfect. Now, this is the portfolio that is recommended for me. As you can see, it's a growth portfolio based on how I answered the questionnaire. It shows down here the equity and fixed income split, 80% equity, 20% fixed income. It also shows the various holdings that will be in my portfolio. If I'm satisfied with this portfolio, I'm going to go ahead and select start with this plan. What this means is that any of my accounts will be invested in this growth portfolio unless I make a request to change it to a different portfolio. So let's click start with this plan. Perfect. It'll now bring me back to my home page. As you can see, start your plan is no longer required. But since my advisor created my profile for me, they went ahead and created my personal account and my RSP account, just to make it nice and easy so that when I log in, all I have to do is review the agreements and sign. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna start by selecting review and submit your agreement on my personal non-registered account. Perfect. Shows me a little more details on the personal non-registered account. And again, just down here, I'm gonna select review and submit your agreement. Perfect. I now have the opportunity to look over the transfer details that my advisor inputted for me. So my advisor knows I have an existing personal non-registered account at Manulife. They've inputted my account number and they've indicated that the transfer is moving over full in cash. This looks great to me, so I'm gonna go ahead and select next with this arrow at the bottom. Perfect. Now, of course, I have to sign my account opening documents. As you can see, all of my information is already inputted in here. My name, my social insurance number, my date of birth, my address, et cetera. My advisor inputted all this information for me and I now have the ability to review it. It all looks great. I can review it if I'd like by scrolling down or, if all looks good to me, I'm going to go and scroll down to the bottom. There's a checkbox here stating, I agree to the discretionary management agreement. I'm going to go ahead and select that. As you can see, once you select that, the confirm button at the bottom lights up. I'm going to go ahead and select confirm to successfully sign for my account. Perfect. Now looking at the personal account, there's no more prompt to sign my agreements. My transfer is currently being prepared, so the personal account is good to go. Now my RSP account, of course, I have to go in and sign the agreements for that account as well. So just as we had done before, I'm gonna select review and submit your agreement. I'm going to select down here again, review and submit your agreement. Again, my advisor entered the transfer details for my RSP. This time it's coming from Fidelity. My account number is included. It's an in-cash transfer. It looks good to me. I'm gonna select next. Perfect. My account opening agreements are here now for the RRSP account. And I'm gonna scroll to the bottom, check that box and hit confirm. Perfect. Now, what I've done here is I've completed the risk questionnaire and I've signed for the accounts that my advisor created for me. You would now have the ability, if you wished, to add more accounts, more transfers, you could set up a bank account or take any other action on your profile if you wished. If you have any questions about any of this, your advisor's details are right here in the top right hand corner, including their email and phone number. So you can give them a quick call if you have any questions about this process. Thank you for watching and we look forward to working with you.